Imagine healthy oceans, abundant marine life, robust, colorful coral reefs, thriving seabird populations, new ways of understanding the complex interaction of all living systems in our seas. Seeking to preserve and protect the world's oceans, each year, the Pew Fellows Program in Marine Conservation identifies five outstanding individuals distinguished by their vision, expertise, and passion for ocean conservation. Each Pew Marine Fellow receives 150,000 U.S. dollars to conduct a three-year scientific research or conservation project designed to find innovative solutions to critical challenges in the ocean. The Pew Fellows Program in Marine Conservation is proud to add these 2010 Pew Marine Fellows to their global community. Daniel Condley of Lund University in Sweden, Omar De Feo of the Universidad de la República in Uruguay, Beth Fulton from the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization in Australia, Peter Mambi of the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom and the University of Queensland in Australia, and Ben Sullivan from the BirdLife International Global Seabird Program based in Australia. Their Pew Marine Fellowships would support projects that seek solutions to dead zones in the Baltic Sea, shellfish management in Latin America, lost ocean biological diversity, coral reef survival, and seabird decline. Each fellow will communicate their project information widely and apply their results to other parts of the world so that their work can contribute to global conservation efforts. Dead zones in the ocean are the result of low oxygen conditions caused by too many chemical nutrients in the water. Increases in chemical nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus can damage the marine system. Around the globe, dead zones have increased dramatically in the last 40 years. The Baltic Sea as the largest oxygen-deprived area in the world, covering a region five times larger than the Gulf of Mexico's dead zone. Dr. Daniel Cundley, a professor of biogeochemistry at Lund University in Sweden, will address this problem of reduced oxygen levels in the Baltic Sea. Through his Pew Fellowship project, he will evaluate various potential remedies, such as bubbling oxygen in coastal waters and harvesting algae for biofuel. He will then compare this project with more traditional land-based measures to reduce nutrients in coastal waters. In Latin America, decades of intense fishing, coastal degradation and climate change are severely impacting traditional small-scale shell fisheries. Many of these fisheries are now close to functional extinction. Dr. Omar De Feo, a professor at the Universidad de la República in Uruguay, will use his Pew Marine Fellowship to work with fishermen, scientists, and resource managers to identify the best ways to support healthy shellfish fisheries throughout Latin America. His project would also raise awareness on how to adapt management strategies to climate-driven changes that affect shellfish. The very different but equally vulnerable marine worlds in the tropics and poles are severely threatened by fishing, pollution and other impacts. Climate change adds to the problem by creating shifts in temperature, rainfall patterns and increase ocean acidification. These changes affect individual species and in turn how many different species survive and interact in an ecosystem. Seeking to show how these changes affect the ocean ecosystem, Dr. Beth Fulton will use her Pew Fellowship to measure their impact on marine species diversity. A science leader at Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization in Australia, 
Fulton will develop models to help resource managers in the tropics and poles and other global locations incorporate this information into their decision making. Coral reefs are acutely threatened by climate change. Since resource managers cannot stop the impacts of climate change, they try to create protected areas where corals might have a greater natural ability to tolerate climate change. Dr. Peter Mumby, a marine ecologist and professor at the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom and the University of Queensland in Australia, will develop scientific models that help identify the most resilient coral reef systems in the Bahamas. These models will better integrate information such as hurricane risk, ocean pollution, interactions between coral reefs and coral reaction to stress. This information will be used to design a network of marine reserves for coral reef protection. Accidental seabird deaths from commercial fishing gear have contributed to dramatic declines in many albatross and petrel seabirds populations. In most cases, seabirds are hooked as they dive for the bait on fishing hooks or become entangled in gear or netting. Globally, 18 of the 22 species of albatross and petrels are now threatened with extinction. Dr. Ben Sullivan is the coordinator of the BirdLife International Global Seabird Program, an initiative of the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, UK. Based at the Australian Antarctic Division in Tasmania, Sullivan will use his Pumarine Fellowship to test devices to scare birds from behind fishing boats and new technologies to prevent them from accessing hooks. He will also evaluate innovative line weighting to increase the sink rate of long line hooks as they leave the vessel. Sullivan's findings will be considered for implementation in select coastal and high sea tuna fisheries. Healthy oceans, more than just a dream or an experiment. They are critical to our planet, one person at a time, one project at a time. The Pew Fellows Program in Marine Conservation is seeking answers, testing ideas, and working to create vibrant and healthy oceans. Just imagine. To learn more, go to www.pewmarinefellows.org. Dot org.